Oliver Heaviside changed the world of telecommunications and mathematics. Born in 1850, died in 1925, he was an English mathematician and physicist. He invented a new technique for solving differential equations, independently developed vector calculus, and rewrote Maxwell's equations. His ability to rewrite Maxwell's equations into practical applications that others could understand was a great and necessary contribution to the world of electrical engineering. In, eight, in 1865, at the age of 16, his parents could no longer afford for him to stay in school. Heaviside continued to study on his own with no formal education. Oliver Heaviside had an uncle, Sir Charles Wheatstone, who took notice of his nephew's strong desire to learn and gave him a job in one of Wheatstone's telegraph companies. Heaviside continued through the years working and studying under his uncle. In 1873, his application to join the Society of Telegraph Engineers was turned down with the, commented, with the comment that stated they, and I quote here, didn't want telegraph clerks, end quote. In 1880, his, he, I'm sorry, in 1880, he patented the coaxial cable. He showed how coaxial cable could eliminate signal interference. Coaxial cable is a type of transmission line used to carry high-frequency electrical signals with low losses. The center is a single copper wire. The outer metal cancels out magnetic interference. Co, meaning working together. Axial, all the layers share the same axis. Uh, as opposed to like a twisted wire that would have opposite axes. Before heavy sides ideas about the coaxial cable, Long transmissions were not possible, and many believed it could not be done. The cables before coaxial experienced interference, and that little bit of interference added up making long distance communications impossible. The transatlantic telegraph cable were undersea cables running under the Atlantic Ocean for telegraph communications. This was only made possible through the ideas of Oliver Heaviside. Today, 99% of overseas communication is done through underwater cables. Today, underwater cables are mostly fiber optics, but long-range communication was first made possible with the ideas of Oliver Heaviside. So the next time you think about Samuel Morris and Morris Code, think about Oliver Heaviside, who came along and improved upon this original idea and changed the world as we know it. Thank you.